All right, we got to see how this works. I'm in a different live stream location. You know the deal. First thing I want to do is make sure that the well, according to my little device here, it sounds like the audio is working. I have a microphone off to the side here. Just drop me a comment and let me know. Does it sound okay? Can you hear me? Does it sound horrible? You know, all the things that I normally ask. I have a screen over here. Let's see here. Yeah, I have a screen over here uh, where I can kind of see what's up, see what's going on. I'm just rearranging a few things real quick. I'm actually getting a stand uh, for my phone. Hopefully I can read uh, some of the comments as we go. Just bear with me two seconds. Something like that. Ah, there he is. There's Jack. What's up, buddy? Just in time. <laughs> all right. Hope you guys are. Uh, hope you guys are all doing great today. Feeling groovy, all right. Love to hear it. So, I, so you guys probably saw this video the other day. Um, I just did a mountain, so I don't have a lot of time today. So I thought maybe we'll just throw some trees in here or something. What do you think? Do something with it, right? It should still be a little bit tacky, a little bit wet. You struggle with mountains. Well, <clears throat> my videos are not the greatest, but uh, but this actual painting is one of one of my recent videos. Want to go watch that? Mountains can be tough. That's for sure. <clears throat> Right. I don't know if you guys want to share this, get some more people in here. I always, uh, I always like to get started when there's, uh, you know, a good group of people in here. As a matter of fact, uh, stand by two seconds here. Let me uh, put this on Facebook real quickly. Do that, and then we'll go ahead and get started. So let me just go over to the book of face and. What are we doing here? Something like that looks good. Live on YouTube. Paste that. We got, yeah. Can you publish? You know, just to let a few more people know uh, that we're here. Okay, back to this. So yeah, I thought we would add some trees and stuff in here. Is that a homemade easel or can you buy it? All right, so that's an interesting question. This particular one that you're looking at is not technically homemade, um, but it's heavily altered. Okay, it's, it's heavily altered. And let me, get my, uh, let me get my zoom out thing here. I'm going to show you a little bit more of it. See, there's a little delay on my screen. <clears throat> Come on. There you go. So, see, I have LEDs and stuff on here. I don't know why I showed you that. But, um, anyways, this is, uh, I, this is not a homemade easel. But what I did was I cut and combined um, a bunch of different things together. This is not the only one I have. I have another one, actually, that I use for travel. And it just works off of a ladder. Um, and... So you can you can buy these easels. They're not like uh, this 100% because this is altered, but they're very good easels and they're very uh, very sturdy. They're just very good. 
We need hostages. <laughs> yeah, we need some hostages. Oh, goodness. You're funny, man. You're funny. I hope you're doing well, man. I hope you're doing good. Hope everything, hope all is well. Yeah, so I think we're just going to put some stuff in here. Yeah, it's a little bit wet. If not, we can work with it. We can work with it. Let me move my knife out of the way here. And thinking, um, let's just get some color here, right? Let's get some color. Let's get a little bit of this. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a sketch, possibly. So I got some... Uh, just some blue, black, and like some green and some white. Just a super, super light color on here. And I just want to try to see what do I want to do. Because maybe a little bit more green. Darken it up just a little bit. Hello. So I'm just going to kind of sketch in something real quickly here. Because maybe this wraps around like this. It comes around. We don't have much room to work with here, so I want to, uh, you know, kind of try to map it out just a little bit. So maybe this runs this way. It wraps around like this, a little bit this way. Then, yeah, that zips off like this. Maybe I want it to come off this way, possibly. So I want it to go like this, and then maybe it zips back around like this and this one comes this way and zips like that right there all right so that's just like a little a basic little design that we have right there okay let's see what we got here and i'm going to look over to the comments a little bit too um, and i'm going to ask this again i know i asked it right when we started but i want to know how does the audio sound <laughs> be honest i know a lot of you guys are brutally honest when the audio is not good live streams I cannot hear the audio so <clears throat> I just want to know if it sounds good um, and that's it you know I have all these different setups in my studio I have a whole other painting room in another part of the building I have one on the main floor and as most of you probably know from the background here this particular area is where I do my main filming okay but I've never live streamed in here so please audio please Let's see here. Audio is great. Broham. <laughs> oh, portable aluminum. <clears throat> now, another thing <clears throat> that... <clears throat> why do I always cough during live streams? All right. Another thing I want to mention to you guys while you're here um, on YouTube, on Facebook, if you guys are interested, you know what? I'm just going to grab the picture. Hold on. Okay, so I have a raffle. I have a raffle going on right now. Um, I'm not really going to zoom out too much, but I have a raffle going on. You can go to my website and you can get tickets. Um, there, there are some spots left. This is paint. Just hit the microphone. This is the painting right here. Okay, that's the painting. It's huge. All right, Northern Lights painting. And yeah, we're doing a raffle and it's gonna be awesome, okay? And the shipping is free. I'm gonna pay for the shipping. Whoever wins it, we're gonna do, we're going to announce the winner on a live stream. So if you want, you can just immediately, you can go over to uh, paintingsbyjustin.com forward slash raffle, or you could just go to paintingsbyjustin.com and in the little bar on the top, you can click it. It's like the little three bar things. And then you can see where it'll say raffle and you can go there and you can get your tickets. Now they're technically that you don't print the tickets, but for each ticket that you buy, um, like if you buy two or three or four or 10 or whatever, it pops up onto my list that amount of times and you get entered that amount of times. All right. So this is something uh, that I thought was really cool to do. So I just wanted to let you know when more people get in here, if more people come into this live stream, I'll say it again. Let's see here. 
It sounds good on your phone. You love trees. Awesome. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds fine, buddy. Sweet, sweet, sweet. This is my favorite background. Bronze snake. Thanks, man. I, you know, it took me a while to, to get this background in nicely. Paintings have come on so much since watching you. Awesome. I love to hear that. What's your goose's name? My goose's name is Peck. <laughs> Peck. Because she pecks everything. All right. All right. So let's do something colorful here. I'm going to grab some green. And there's a, a good amount of white in here. Green. And I'm going to get some yellow ochre. All right. Let's just see how this looks. It's not a super dark color. And let's reach over here and get a little bit of blue and see how, see how that does us. Yeah, so Peck. Peck is my goose's name. And it's funny because when I'm like, when I'm walking her or feeding her, I call her all kinds of things. I call her Petro. Pet Petro? I don't know why I call her Petro, but that just seems to be a staple in her life. Petro. I, I just any so many different things. I don't even want to go. I don't even want to go there. I bought some of that gambling gel. It's awesome. It is awesome. It is awesome. All right, and I'm going to grab uh, some white paint, just a little bit of white and maybe just a touch of blue, all right, just to get a beautiful light blue color, all right. I want trees to be here, but look at this in the background. Look, I'm just going to spray some of this uh, spray, I'm not spraying anything. I'm going to put some of this white color here, just like this. See this? Boom. Because I want these trees to show up, all right? So that's why I just put that white color there real quick. Now I'm just going to use the filbert. And I guess I'll just blend. I'm going to just blend this out. And hopefully, if all goes well, this will help the trees, like, stand out, these ones that are a little further back. If all goes well. So I'm just like blending it upward. Oh man, this painting is actually pretty close to being dry, so pretty close. I'm new to your site and love how you paint. Why, thank you. Thank you very much, Susan Ralph. Thank you. All right, okay, here we go. So you see that white that I put in? Yeah, you can see that. I got a screen off to my, my side over here. Let's go back to this color and just see. A little bit more blue, I think, would be appropriate. Because when something is further away, blue is a good color. Blue, bluish, bluey. All right, so I'm going to put in some little trees. It's not super far away. It's kind of like on the other side of the lake. So I'm just going to, let's see how that looks. Hmm. Lighter. Need it to be lighter. I'm just going to use the corner. Put in some of these little babies. All right, so I'll leave some gaps in between these and the white will hopefully let these uh, trees stand out, All right? So there's not like a lot of detail in here at all, okay? These are just little shapes and whatevers, you know? Stuff that runs across the lake, the river, stream, whatever this thing is. I love using the fan brush and pushing upward on it. Don't confuse that with pulling upward. I do that too. But pushing uh, to mix into my green for this other tree here. Kind of bring it forward just a bit. Sounds pretty good, but is echoey. Well, that could be the echo. You know what? Stand by a second. I'm going to turn the volume up on my phone. You're going to hear a major echo right now, but I have to hear this. Okay, I can live with it. I can live with it. When am I hanging out with Steve again? Uh, next week. Next week. I got to roll up down uh, to his territory. I'm putting some dark color at the base here, in front of these little guys here, see? Now, I heard the sound. I'm good with it for right now. I'm going to put one more tree here. Maybe give him an angle like this. Bit of an angle. 
I like making um, the trees that go upward. Everybody has like their own uh, preference, you know, uh, but I love the trees that go up, the uppy trees, the limbs go up on them. A little bit more brown and green on this guy here. I'm going to put uh, one more here because we're going to have some stuff here. I don't want to clutter the area up too much. That tree's been drinking. <laughs> yeah, man, he has. Here, let's let's give him a let's give him a, a nice a straight friend. A good let's put a good influence next to him, right? <laughs> Boom. All right. Well, this guy ain't doing too much better. But hey, it's a start, right? Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, so the raffle, you know, I think it's uh I think it's a good thing. You know what I mean? And don't forget, like when you do something like that, you're supporting my journey and my mission on you know what I'm trying to do. I have so many things that I want to do in this lifetime, but life is so short. Will I be able to live out everything that I want to do? You know, nobody knows. I could leave here, I could leave here tonight and head home and get hit by a tractor and trailer, you know, but uh Nobody, nobody knows, but I, I have so many different, I don't want to call them dreams, but I have so many different things I want to do in my life. So we just have to see what happens. That's all. But that's what I was saying about the raffle. It's a good way to support what I'm doing. Do I enjoy using, do I enjoy using the black canvas? I do actually. I just got done painting one before I started the uh, live stream. You have, uh, have you done Mac Tac Oval? Painting. Uh, well, I don't. I've done oval paintings uh, plenty of times. Yes, I've done oval paintings. I like ovals actually. I did one uh, when I was in Los Angeles recently. I'm mixing up some color down here, some blue, black, and green. <clears throat> yeah, I did a nice oval painting in Los Angeles. Actually, I did it in my hotel room after I uh, painted like nine pictures in one day. <laughs> Pretty cool. Just mixing up some color down here. Just getting me a nice dark bluey green color to start throwing in some, some stuff here. All right, I'm going to put in uh, a, a nice dark base here right now. And then I'll worry about, um, you know, reflections and all that stuff. Doesn't have to be oval. Fill me in there, buddy. What is a Mac tack? Fill me in on that. I'm not sure what that is. Well, I put this color in. Oh, yeah. See this nice dark color? It's going to pop right up in front of these trees here. And this really just brings it forward. See? I'm not going to go too crazy because i got to put reflections in here. Steve's dad, Bob, used a Mac Tac to do a painting like you were looking through a window. Oh, oh, the window. Yeah, no, I've never done that. But, man, that just sounds awesome to try. I'm putting a lot of texture in here. All right, I'm gonna leave leave some of that pink in. Some more color here. Some more blue, touch of black, and some more green. Yeah, I'd love to do one of those paintings. This one we're gonna say is talking about contact paper. This is Yovette, how are you today? How are you? Yeah, no, I know what he's talking about now. Yep, I'd love to use one of them. Uh, or that I've never done it as of yet see I leave a little pink showing through if anybody watched the video I put all that beautiful pink in up here and then I like wasted it because I went over top of it with the mountain but I actually used the pink down here to look like a reflection of the sky so you could leave some of that color showing through and that'll work to your advantage all right so this is no masterpiece here you know we're just putting in some dark colors with some texture on it all right, and I'll come back with some lighter colors, mainly on this side. Just trying to block some of it in. I'm going to put some tr more trees over here, too. I'm just getting uh, some of the base set here. All right. I'm not going to go too far over there because I'm not quite sure what I'm doing over there yet. All right.
And I'm just mixing up some more color when I go down here. I've just been using blue, black, and green for now. Just something dark. Yeah, something like this. And start up here too. Some more color. Yeah, I thought, um, why not do, you know, work something in here. Finish this, you know, not finish it, but you know what I mean, like, Instead of wasting it and throwing the, you know, or not throwing it, you know, sitting in a closet, put a few trees in or whatever, and it'll appear possibly as a finished painting. You know what I mean? But this is what I like to do. I like to get my color in. You know, I like to just smash some color, block it in, you know, and then just work, work it from there. Now, like for example over here the lights come in this way it, you know if you plan ahead of time you don't always have to put this dark color in you could put some dark color but you can save it for your light color okay because obviously you probably know that um, you know when you put your dark colors in sometimes it's tough or muddy and then you, you know to get your light colors on top so always try to plan ahead when you're doing stuff like that if you can Let's see, looking over at the chat here. Da, 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 da. I painted your sunlight forest picture the other day, it came out awesome, awesome. I love hearing that. I love when people paint the pictures. When you do these videos, is uh, uh, any time, is there any time that you were just not in the mood? Absolutely, if you look back, I actually made a video where I told everybody right from the door, <laughs> Excuse me. I said I am just not in the mood today for this. I don't feel good today. I'm just not feeling it. But I made the video. If you look on my channel, you'll see it in there. Because I did it. So yes, to answer your question, the answer is yes. I'm human. Sometimes I don't feel good, but I fight through. Tell me the measurement frame this is a 16 by 20 inch thank you thank you thank you okay escaped i did that was awesome i like that i liked i like the whole process of that all right so i got some dark color in here i think now would probably be a good time to set that down and maybe pull some of these reflections back here so i'm looking to see if i have another uh small fan brush I'm a big fan of the fan brush <laughs> whoops I'm a fan of the fan brush the smaller ones you have so much more control with the smaller ones as a matter of fact when I re-release my paintbrush line I'm getting a smaller fan brush in the paintbrush line <laughs> all right so I'm gonna go right up here and I'm just gonna pull a little bit of these colors down like this I'm using the you know the fan brush to do it All right, boom, something like that right there. I'm just going to wipe it off on the paper towel and then see if this works. Swat it sideways, back and forth. Seems to be working. <laughs> something like that. All right. Now, that's a clean fan brush, so I'm going to probably set that down real quick. Now I'll pull some of these reflections out, but I'm going to use the dirty fan brush and just wipe it off. Do I paint wildlife? Nah, man, never, not yet. But I will, though. I will. I have a lot of stuff I have to discover still. Follow the tutorial. It turns out really good. Try painting a garden. Oh, yeah, that would be cool. Trout, <laughs> speckled trout. Absolutely. Now, there's so many things I want to try. I just haven't tried any of them yet. All right, here we go. I don't know if I'm going to put any other trees up here. I probably, I know I'm going to put them here, but I'm just going to drop some basic reflections down here. Just, you know, get a few of them going here. Something like this. Now there's some trees there, so we'll drop these a little bit further like this. 
you don't always have to make the upside down trees. Sometimes you can just get the color in there and people will get the general idea of what you're doing, all right? All righty now. I'm gonna grab this one inch here. And I'm going to pull this back side to side. Hmm. Interesting. At least singing outside of my so my door. I still never got those dark blinds to cover the windows, which I definitely have to do. Putting more dark color here. Smashing some more dark there. Yeah, I have to cover the uh the doors and the windows and stuff because people like to look in and sometimes they uh, they knock and all kinds of crazy things all right I'm just gonna work this sideways for a minute like this just to smooth it out Something like this Right. <clears throat> All right, so we got some basic reflections in there. Set that back up there, back to the fan brush here. I got to keep an eye on the time. I got to keep an eye on the time, right? So we are going to put some stuff over there. I'm going to put some stuff over here too. So fan brush, some green and some blue, a touch of black, just a bunch of dark colors. Dark color, dark color. All right? The darker. We'll zip one. Let's start over on the corner this time. Let's zip one right here. Tap one down like this. And I guess we can give him wings too, little uppy wings. Maybe a few gaps. This guy here. I mean, leave a few spaces is what I'm saying. He's missing some stuff. Something like this. I just keep on reloading and stuff. Work it right down. Now I'm going to leave a little bit of that color, that clear or white light color showing through there. Just because uh, I think it looks neat, probably. Hmm. Maybe it shows depth. It shows like. Find it. Put one. Just go right over the tip of this mountain right here. And I will say that this painting is a little bit tacky. <clears throat> you know, and if it wasn't, I wouldn't be painting over top of this thick mountain. It is a little tacky though, so. It's been sitting for a few days. All right, a few little branches there. And I'm going to put some of the branches a little bit in front of this guy here because, you know, this one does grow in front. It's in front, so you want to make sure that put them in front, see? Something like that right there. I'm going to leave that little light color underneath of there also as well. Okay. Mixing up some more color here for our other trees on our other side. Love making pine trees. I think I think you should take a whole canvas and I think you should paint nothing but trees canvas. All right. Let's put some ones back here. So let me grab the uh, the clean fan brush real quick, and 
Okay, let's put some over here. But I'm going to do something different. I'm going to take uh, yellow ochre and some red. Yellow ochre, red, a little bit of our cad uh, yellow. Do some of that. And let's just see what a touch of green does here. With this. Okay. I'm going to do something that I just never do. Don't ask me why I'm doing this, but I'm just doing it because just having a little bit of fun. All right, so we got some trees. They're back here in the distance, all right? And these trees are definitely a different color. Sometimes a different color is a good thing. There. Interesting. Very interesting. Don't judge me. Yeah, sometimes different uh, different colors turn out to be cool. Sam, just gonna swat some color back here, just like this. Put a few little details on them because maybe these ones are just a little bit further back. But I'm just being very quickly about it. Maybe I'll even do these little circles just to smooth it out, just a hair. Back. Yeah, those are some funny looking trees. But I'll, I'll hey, you know, we'll only uh, live once, right? All right? Let's set that down. Down and go back to darker color. Green in there. Throw a touch of yellow into our color here. Yellow over. So it's not pure black. Get some red in there that dulls it just a little bit. Drop one right almost in front. Boom. We have another drunk tree. There he is. A little baby one right here. Right in front. A few leaves. Just to push the orange ones back, you know what I mean? There, like this. Another crooked guy. And when I'm going over top of these orange trees, I have a lot of paint on the brush. And I'm using like a light pressure to push so it doesn't turn to mud. Okay. <clears throat> Make a little bit of a hill here. Not a hill, like a bush or something. See? So it's not flat. See that? Looks more like a piece of land. Okay. Let's do the same thing here. I kind of like that. Anybody that just joined recently, go over to my website. Got a raffle going on for big Northern Lights painting. Head over there, buy a ticket or two. It'll be going for good purposes. All right, what are we doing? What are we doing here? Got to keep track of the time. Darkening up, darkening up my color here. Get some more green, uh, black, blue, all of the good things. All right. <clears throat> All right, so 
I love pine trees so much, but I'm thinking something. That one grows there. Something like that. All right, let's give him a little, little, you know, bare spot or whatever. I found the spot of the mountain that's wet. <laughs> And there it was. That tree is leaning. Let's balance him out by putting one in here. Something like that. This is my practice of uh, pine trees for the day, if anybody's wondering. That all over the all over the place. All right, let me wipe this off, and now is one of my favorite parts. I appreciate all the nice comments, man. You know, I really do. Life is so hard. You know what I'm saying? Life, life is just so hard. And it's always nice when there's somebody out there that, that tries to encourage you and uh, leaves you a nice comment and not something nasty. And that happens too, but I, I don't even let that bother me anymore. So I appreciate all the nice comments. There needs to be more nice people out there in the world, you know. Oh my lord, no. Mrs. Yovette, I did not see that part of the video. Interesting. Hmm. I'm gonna go. That's. I'm gonna go back and watch that. The whole entire everything when I eat dinner tonight. Well, thank you. I I do appreciate that. That is so very nice of you to do. Like I was just saying, needs to be more nice people in the world like this. You know what I'm saying? I'm just getting some blue, a light blue color, and I'm gonna make a a water line, I suppose. That's a, that's a weird color. I don't want to make it that color. I'm just going to get some white. There's a touch of blue in here, but that's okay. Let's put a noticeable water line back here. Hmm. All right, here we go. Let's start back here. I want it to be somewhat noticeable. See, there's one water line. I like making water lines. I don't know why. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, and while we're at it, I guess what? Should we just make one here too, right? Make this guy wrap right around. Okay. And let's go up here now. Make this guy wrap right around like this. Get some more paint. What do you think? Okay? Yeah. All right, so now we got our water lines. Excellent. I like it. Um, let me grab, actually, since I got that white right there, and I got the knife. Let me get some brown and some white and just see. Whoops. Let's see about making us a uh, little indication here that maybe this is a trunk down here on the bottom. This tree. Right, let's just go ahead and put the old uh, here. Sticks. I love putting sticks in like this. Love it. Love it. 
Because some of them will show like through, and that's awesome. All right, all right. Set the knife out of the way. Still watching the time. Watching the time. Just for the sake of argument, I even though this is a little late. Let's just go below my waterline. Below the waterline. Just a little dark color is all. A little extra dark color, I should say. You know what I mean? I would recommend to do all this stuff before you put the waterline in. Put some of that down. Look it back and forth. Something like that, about there. Just even some of this out a little bit. You know, another thing I noticed too, you can pull some of the water line down. See? Little bits of it, little tiny pieces of the water line. And it will look like a nice, cool little reflection in the water of water, water reflecting in the water. Something like that, right about there. Have you done many dead fallen trees? Yeah, half of my paintings are fallen dead trees. They're just, they're hidden in the back. I have a lot of dead trees in my painting. Lots of them. All right, I guess I could probably use this dirty fan brush here. Let's put some uh, light color on the uh, trees here real quick. Come on, guys, head over, get some tickets. Doing that raffle, Northern Lights, Northern Lights raffle. Come on, head over there, grab some tickets. It's going to be one cool live stream doing the winner. I think I might do a wheel, possibly. I don't know, we'll see. <clears throat> but I would be grateful if you head over and got some tickets for it. Think about it, you can win a huge Northern Lights painting for 20 bucks. Absolutely incredible. What brand of oils? Gamblin. I use Gamblin. All right, I think this is an RA color. We'll have to find out. Midtone green. Mid-tone green. Slap some color on some of these branches here. You know, leave a few spaces. Don't put them on all of them. You see? Start off with a mid-tone, <clears throat> a mid-tone color, which is just not an extreme, uh, it's not a very, very bright green. It's in the middle. Right? And then you can work it with a lighter color after the fact. Skip some spots, see? See that, what I'm doing here? <coughs> you know, just for the people that are watching, like, you know, the reason that, uh, Put a few down here too. The reason that I'm doing stuff like uh, whether it's a raffle or selling paint kits or you know shirts or, or whatever, the, you know, obviously the reason I'm doing that is because I want to spend more time on being able to paint pictures. And like I said this before, I don't want to have to go worry about you know working or whatever because if that happens, then I won't be doing this anymore. So that's why I do that. If anybody's wondering, that's why I do that. I'm human. And I have to figure out ways to you know, just survive in this world that we live in. Um, and that's, that's, you know, that's that. So, you know, when I uh, do stuff like that, just know that's what I'm doing. You know, I'm just trying to be able to, I really want to just spread this message to many people. You know, and I don't know, uh, 
how many I'm going to reach ultimately. Hopefully, this is something I can continue to do. What you see right here, I hope that I can continue. But I can tell you that I'm trying my best. I really am. Still using a mid tone green. Mid, mid tone green. Now, like some channels do, um, like channel memberships, where, and I have access to that now, I have to look at it. But for example, like this live stream video on some channels are only available to channel members, where you have to pay like a service fee. I mean, it's like four or five bucks a month only. And then the live streams go to the channel members. Okay. That's too dull. I like the other green color better. Getting some brighter color here. Tab 7. With the donation. I appreciate it. Thank you. I think you... Yeah, no, that is so cool. I, I know your name because you... I think you're like the only person that's donated on a live stream, I think. Awesome. Thank you so much. I, I really do appreciate it. I can't even, I really can't even describe to you how much I appreciate support from people. I'm such an appreciative person. And if you don't mind me asking there, Mr. Uh, Cab7, what, uh, where do you live? You don't, not where do you live? What country do you live in? Are you in the United States? I'm just wondering because people watch from all over. So I just, just have a question that I wanted to ask you about that. Do you live here in the U.S. or are you somewhere else? I'm putting a few little uh, lighter colors on. I know you guys can probably see that. See? Just a few of these little, you know, lighter textured areas, see? It kind of breaks it up. So you have your mid-tones in there, mid-tones and your in your lighter colors. So I'm curious, Mr. Uh, Cab7, where do you what are you in the United States? Just a question. Just curious. Let's break this up. Some different color here, a little bit more green into there, a little bit more yellow. We still streaming? Streaming. I'm going to mix some colors in back over here. Keep sharing your gift with the world, Justin. Yes, in the state of Pennsylvania where I reside. Man, I. I don't even know. Thank you. I, wow. Thank you. I don't even. I need you to do me a favor, um, Cab Seven. Please send me an email when this stream is over. When the live stream is over, my email address is paintingsbyjustin at gmail dot com. Please send me an email um, with your address. I have uh, I have some stuff I would like to send you for free just I want to send you some stuff because I can't even uh, I can't even tell you what I'm feeling right now I've never had anybody do anything like that before Wow thank you I'm like in a I'm just like sort of I'm in a thank you I I, I really appreciate it. Some amazing people. You guys are uh, I lost my train of thought. <clears throat> so 
so what I yeah back to you know what I was just saying earlier like you know I don't um I want to do everything for free you know I want to do everything for free I just I can't you know if I uh if I did I would disappear one day you guys wouldn't see me anymore everybody would be like where's Justin at where'd he go oh Justin had to go get a job you know that's that's all just to be uh, clear to everybody I'm doing my best to to spread my uh, gift my vision my everything doing my best I can promise you that I'm just adding some highlights to these bushes in here with a fan brush I haven't used anything but a fan brush so far Yeah, Mr. Cab7, please send me your, email me, email me your home address if you wouldn't mind. Because um, I can't even tell you how much I appreciate what you just did. Please, please send me your address because I'm, gonna, I'm going to, I'm going to send you a painting to your home address. and some other stuff because uh, you're an amazing person send me simply pushing a gift from one artist to another uh, yeah well uh, thank you man I, I thank you I would love to send you a picture if you'd like one please email me your address I'd love to send you one of my paintings over to you Thanks, Jack. Thank you. It's just such a tough subject to talk about. Um, you know, like, for example, like, I have that whole, uh, you know, texting thing where, you know, I, I let everybody text me if they want to, and I can send stuff to, to people also. <clears throat> and... Um, I answer questions for people. They have legitimate questions, and I answer them. And I sent out a thing. It was a couple weeks ago, and it was something like uh, I had just released a new painting, and some lady, whom I had answered questions to and helped her out on there, like sent me back a nasty message and said, "Stop! Don't spam me! Don't send me anything for sale or whatever." So I took her off of the list. I took her off and blocked her because that was, I thought that was rude, but, you know, um, but it's just a touchy subject, but I have to do stuff to make money or I, or I just won't be here. I'll be gone. But, um, wow, I'm still like, I don't even know what to say. I'm just adding highlights here now. Cab seven, making my day. Like seriously, such a, such a nice person. He did say he's an artist, so I'm sure he, he knows, you know, pain feelings, what we all go through here, you know what I mean? Wow. So I'm just adding some highlights in here, as you, as you can see. Yeah, let me do some um, blue. I got to keep track of time here. Some white, some blue. I'm going to do something. I'm going to make a blue bush. I don't know. Let's see how this looks. A little colorful blue bush. Right there in the corner. I don't know that it matches, but that is totally fine. It doesn't have to. Some there. All right, let's add some bushes in the front. Set my paper towels down. Running out of yellow paint. Running out of yellow. Well, not running out of it. I just running out of it right here on my palette. Just squirting out some of this yellow. Uh, 
All right, let's speed it up here. Speed the process up. Thanks again, Cap7. Wow. Amazing. Holy. Am I seeing this right? Am I am I seeing this right? Wow. Man. Now you really gotta send me your address. Because now I have I just wanna I wanna show you I just want to show you how appreciative I have I am. I've never had anything like that happen in my life this in my life, ever. I've never had anything like this happen. Wow. I hope you send me I hope you send me your address. I real I really do. Because um wow. Hmm. Thank you, man. I'm gonna just keep making some bushes. I hope your address pops up one day in my box because um, I would love to show you how much I appreciate what you've done here today. But it sounds to me like uh, he understands the struggle, the real struggle that, that we go through. You know, like uh, you want to do good for people in this world. Like, uh, you know, I know I know where my heart's at and where my mind is at. And I just want to help every single person. But you become financially limited. You can't. It's very hard to deal with. Very, very hard to deal with. Well, thank you. You've you've changed you've changed my week. Thank you, Mr. Cap Seven. I'm like losing my train of thoughts here. I'm, you know, just because I've never, uh, yeah, just never, never had this before. I'm just uh, putting these bushes in still as I'm just trying to figure out, you know, what just happened here. Absolutely. When somebody gives me a, it's called a super chat, whether it's, one dollar, two, three, four, five, ten, fifty, you know, hundred, whatever. It definitely, of course, it helps. Absolutely, it helps. You know what that does when somebody does that? That ensures that I know for a fact, like, oh, I'm making more videos this week because I have more time. I don't have to worry about this and that now. So, yeah, that absolutely. That's what donations do when people donate. Every dime that I that I can make it goes into figuring out how to make another video for everybody that's what it that's what it comes down to how can I do more for the next person and mr. cab 7 sounds like he is exactly like me exactly wants to help and I love that absolutely love this <laughs> Just making some little bushes and different things. Amazing. Amazing. Wiping the paper towel off. Let me get just some straight up. I don't know if that light would come through here. Maybe it would, maybe it wouldn't. Holy. All right, I think Tracy Buford. Holy.
Thank you. Thank you. Um, can you send, Tracy, I'm, I'm going to say the same thing. Send me your address. Email me your address. Please email me your address. I'm just like, I am so sorry for uh, like, what's happening here right now. Like, I... What's happening here right now? You guys are amazing. You're amazing people. I didn't see any of that coming. I didn't see any of this coming for sure. Well, that tells me a bunch of things. You guys believe in me. You want to see me keep going. Um, and this shows it even more than than I ever could have imagined right here. Jack, you're right, man. You are very right. And uh and I'm I know I apologize for for this uh if I seem apologize if I seem off because I'm just not used to anything so had anything like this before and uh makes me it just I'm not gonna cry on a camera. But I uh, I wish uh, I wish I could just uh, you guys could know how much I appreciate it. Just gonna add some of uh, grass in here. I am. Uh, just at a loss for words, uh, you know. I always, uh, you know, felt that uh, you know people do believe uh, in me. But, you know what I'm trying to do, and uh, yeah, I'll never forget this live stream. That's for sure. Because it's so hard to like, it's just so hard you know, sometimes to get through life. You know, life is just so hard, and. Uh, you know, my biggest thing is like, stay positive, stay positive, you know, no problem. Everything's going to be okay. You're going to make it. Everything's going to be all right. And that's, uh, I get up every day and I say, you know, today's going to be a good day. Even if, uh, even if I feel like I'm going to have chest pains from worrying about something or whatever, you know, I wake up with the same attitude every day. Say, I'm going to reach somebody and hopefully I'm going to change their life. You guys are good people. You're really good people. And I'm glad that I uh glad that I started this channel and I'm glad that I started communicating with trying to do what I'm doing. Tracy, thank you. Thank you so much, Tracy. Grab some uh, brown, brown on the fan brush here. Grab some brown. Something right here. Big, beautiful tree right there. When I started doing the live streams or whatever, I knew that other people like, or some channels out there that have a, um, you know, four or five thousand people watching them, and you see the all the whatever the money or whatever going through. I just I never I never thought that I would uh, ever see any kind of thing like this in a live stream. And I know that the people love what I'm doing. I know that 
but my way of looking at things is like well there's probably most other people are in the same situation where financial lim financial things limit limit you you know that's how i always like would look at stuff you know like i'm sure uh i don't know i just know i can tell you this let's say if i had a million bucks right if i had one million dollars i could guarantee you that you know at least uh, a quarter or half of it would go to some kind of an animal hospital children research center or something like that Sharon. Tracy, thank you. Um, you're such a great person for doing like such a great person. I ever you all are great people, but like something like that can have a more of an effect on somebody than people will know. I think I'm gonna try something. Let me just take some uh, color here, blue, black, and I don't know, maybe some green at this point. Just trying to have fun and uh, just relax, you know? Just relax my, my body, my mind, and stuff like that. And just, you know, connect with you guys, you wonderful people. Yeah, it's funny something like this i'll appreciate for the rest of my life like i'll never forget it like this will be one one of them things that you just always remember you know forever and ever you know because i am uh extremely just an appreciative person and i'll put it to you this way i'll just say i wish i had more to give i'll leave it at you know right there I wish I had more to give to everybody, because I would. Maybe one day. But for now, you know, just, you just take what you have and make the best. Trees touch in some areas. Make a little branch hang down here, maybe over the mountain. It's my happy place. Sure. Just like I know it's a lot for you, you know, you guys too. It's your happy place too, Ting Ting. Just the fact that people believe in me, you know, is a, is a tremendous feeling. Because all my life, I always, always thought I was a loser, you know. I always thought I was a loser and didn't think I would get anywhere in my life. You know, just bad self-esteem and stuff like that. And now I'm here. You know, and there's people that actually believe in me and what I'm doing and stuff like that. So it's sometimes it's uh sometimes it's a little hard to to believe it, you know, but it's uh obviously it's apparently true, you know. <laughs> so I'm happy. I'm happy, I'm very happy. That's why in all my videos I always tell you guys, I say I love you guys because I do, I really do. Um I love all you guys. You're like my family, you know what I mean? You're, you're my, it's like a big family we have. Big family, big, big, good, happy family where people can lean on each other, talk, 
you know, help. Kinds of stuff. I'm just grabbing the knife and some brown. There's a there's a touch of blue in it. Make a pretty little bark like texture on the trees here. Just like that. And maybe take the tip of the knife and draw some to the other side. Take some dark color, black, a little texture on the other side of the tree. Put a few little branches and stuff in here. You definitely got me feeling a certain type of way here today. Um, good way, very good way. <laughs> Taking some little details here and there. things like you know this maybe some of them will show they'll show thank you guys for all these comments I just want to say that I'm going to read back each and every single one of them stream when it re-uploads and the live stream when it when it stops You'll notice maybe like a 10 or a 15 minute thing and then it'll, it'll re-upload because I'm going to leave it on there. Um, but I think uh, I think that's it, everybody. I'm going to I'm going to uh, I'm going to take off and try to uh, try to plan uh, for the next video or the next live stream. I, I just want everybody to know that I do appreciate everything a lot to me. Every time something like this takes place, it just lets me know in my mind like about my future, my mission, and reaching people. Uh, the thousands of messages, I say thousands, because I've got thousands. I'm going to have stories that people tell me about, you know, wanting to take their life and doing this and that and how I've helped certain people. It means so much to me. And I'm not going to stop. The only way that I'm going to stop is if I'm six feet in the ground. So for the people that do support, that can support, um, thank you. Thank you because it's definitely it's going for something. I'm gonna go ahead and end this live stream. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. And um, just did a little loss for words today. So enjoyed the stream. I did. I'm gonna go ahead and reach down here and button and stop the stream. See you guys soon.